what is up and welcome back and if you've never been here before seen any of my videos i am cody pratt aka random hero so let's imagine or maybe you've actually done this but you just got a new tattoo and maybe you've seen my videos so you know the aftercare process and you know how to take care of your tattoos but maybe there's one thing we overlooked. How do you take care of your tattoo when it's bedtime? And it's even more difficult when it's a big tattoo and when it's on a spot that you sleep on. So let's talk about some tips and tricks for sleeping on a fresh tattoo. Okay, so we've gone over aftercare instructions, we've gone over good aftercare products, and even how to take care of your tattoo in the sun. But there is one thing that some of my clients often wonder, how do I sleep on a new tattoo? Should I wrap it? Should I put lotion on it? Can I sleep directly on it? And the truth is, while people do overthink this, you do have to be careful. Because if not, you could potentially mess up your tattoo. So let's go over some tips with sleeping on a new tattoo. And stay tuned to the end of this video for my top trick to make sleeping with a new tattoo way easy. First and foremost, you should clean your tattoo before bed. This is important because as you sleep, your body heals itself. And with it freshly clean, you're preventing bacteria from spreading or an infection from starting. Have clean bed sheets. Clean sheets is very important because they can harbor bacteria. Remember that your tattoo is an open wound. So if you get into a bed with unwashed sheets, any dirt or grime or bacteria that's been on those sheets, depending on how long it's been since you washed them, could potentially be getting into this open wound. And I also recommend having sheets that you don't mind getting ruined. Sometimes this can be difficult, especially depending on what body part your tattoo is on. But it is best to try and avoid sleeping on that body part at least for the first couple of days. Your new tattoo needs oxygen for the healing process, so smothering it with covers isn't the best idea. Also, sleeping on your tattoo could cause it to stick to the sheets or blankets. And if this happens and you just pull those sheets off, you could pull ink out or you could reopen the wound and this makes you, once again, susceptible to infection. And if you do get the sheet or blanket stuck to your tattoo, the best possible way to get this off is to take the blanket or sheet with you and run it under warm water until it is completely soaked and saturated and easy to come off. I cannot stress this next tip enough. I have seen infections come from pets. So it is very important that you listen to this. I know we love our dogs and I know some of you love your cats, but do not sleep with your animals. And for that matter, you should definitely limit your interaction for the first couple of days with your animals. Listen, as much as we love them, our animals harbor a lot of bacteria. And honestly, that's the last thing you want to introduce to your new tattoo. And you don't have to ignore your pet. You can still pet them. Just wash your hands afterwards. So, when can you sleep normally again? Well, the good news is that you don't have to wait the full two to three weeks for your tattoo to heal. Realistically, you only need to wait roughly five days for your tattoo to start the scabbing and flaking process. At the end of the day, sleeping on a new tattoo can be tricky and sometimes you can ruin sheets. But just be careful, keep your tattoo clean, and you should be just fine. All right, if you waited this long for my top trick to make sleeping on a fresh tattoo easier, here it is. And this especially goes for those spots that are hard to not sleep on. Use a medical wrap like Saniderm, but do not use a plastic wrap like Saran Wrap. These are not the same. It has to be a breathable material. Remember, the point of this is to help with the healing process. You need that oxygen and that barrier of protection 
for your tattoo to start healing. Plastic wrap is not breathable. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever had problems sleeping on a new tattoo. Don't forget to like this video by smashing that thumbs up button. You can definitely help support this channel by clicking the subscribe button and hitting that bell to get notifications when we come out with new tattoo education and tattoo advice videos. Well, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.